Welcome back to the channel, my sinners and disciples. If you're new to the channel, make sure that you go down below and subscribe. It just takes two seconds. Go down below and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, I will inject a high quality amount of silicon carbon, okay, right down into my rectum. So what time is it, boys? Well, it's time once again to review another video game because, hey, Let's be honest, this year has been pretty shit so far for video games, except of course for Elden Ring. I can't really think of many good games of recent times, it's not just this year. I've talked before about why the modern day gaming industry is kind of at a loss at the moment and why it's suffering and why we have to do something about this because the modern day gaming industry is in trouble. Here is my Trek to Yomi review, okay, this is my Trek to Yomi game review. Ooh, let's just jump into it, okay, and have ourselves a great old time and get on with this Trek to Yomi game review, okay? I hope you enjoy this. Grab yourself a branded bottle of Markiplier's milk and have yourself a sit down and relax. My name's Markiplier. Don't forget to be moist. <coughs> Alright, I'm now nice and moist, I'm ready to review the game. So, Trek to Yomi. <laughs> Trek to Yomi, okay? I don't think many people, <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't think many people are gonna play this game, actually, let's be honest. Um, you know, a lot of games have come out in recent times, and Trek to Yomi isn't exactly, you know, pulling in the crowd, let's just say that. It's made by a relatively smaller development team okay now make sure that you do subscribe okay haha <laughs> i love it i love begging for subscribers so the development team behind trek to yomi haven't made that many games before now they have made some bigger titles like shadow warrior but i don't think many people are going to be playing this game but i do have to say that this is maybe worth your time because it is different it is unique and that is what i like to see in the modern day gaming industry is something that's different something that is you know, breaking the mold of all of this stale bullshit that we get in all of our modern day video games, like the open world design. Or maybe it's just a remake of a video game that was actually good in the past, but they can't think of original ideas anymore, so they just have to keep doing that. I do like Trek to Yomi because it is different, because it is, you know, its own thing. In this Trek to Yomi review, I'm gonna be brutally honest and give you my actual opinions on this game, and it's a shame because this could have been a great game. This could have been something that was different. I do sadly think that Trek to Yomi is bad and it's not a great video game, but it does have good moments in here. Now, I've only played the preview build, okay, that's why I'm doing this review slightly early, but I know just from the gameplay alone that I'm not gonna be interested in this game. I've played enough of it to realize that this game isn't for me. So Trek to Yomi is a samurai game. If you love ancient Japan, which I really do, and you love the culture, check out my philosophy video on the Bushido code. That's the actual real samurai code that these samurai would follow. I really do love the ancient culture of of the samurai and of this time period in Japan, you know, the Edo period and the Meiji period and, you know, way before that, when samurai were actually active and they were, you know, following their orders from the shogun. So I really do like that, but I feel like now, finally, we've actually got a good game for the people who love that side of history, you know, for samurai and ancient Japan, okay? And that is Ghost of Tsushima, okay? That's a great video game. It's absolutely incredible. It does suffer from some open world kind of stagnation, but it is a great video game. Now, this is a side-scroller 2D kind of um, action-adventure game, okay? So it's very linear. There is no exploration in this game, which is quite refreshing. I do like linear-based games. This game is visually beautiful, okay? There's no denying that, and it's trying to emulate these samurai movies that were so legendary that's why it's shot in black and white it's trying to capture that same feeling and it does a great job with that i really do love how this game looks and the kind of cinematography of it all and you know just the kind of aesthetic design i think it does a great job of pulling that side of things off but sadly where the game is bad is with the actual gameplay and with the story now it's a very simple story you know pretty much you're just a samurai trying to take down these bandits who attacked your village and defend your honor and your sensei's honor and it's you know it's all very simple stuff so the characters aren't interesting it's not very gripping emotionally and yeah so the story isn't that great the visual design of it like I said is amazing and I do like 
how it's shot and how the camera is done in this kind of fixed way it really makes you focus on the action. The problem with Trek to Yomi and why I think Trek to Yomi is bad is because of the combat, okay? It's very simplistic, you have a light attack, you have a heavy attack, and if you time yourself correctly, you can actually do a parry. But the problem is, this game gets very, very boring, very quickly, okay? This game gets very repetitive quickly and is pretty boring to play because the combat just isn't you know, detailed enough. It doesn't have enough depth to it. It's not like Ghost of Tsushima where you have these different stances that you can pull out and make the game interesting by pulling off all of these interesting combat moves. It's very simple, light attack, heavy attack, parry. I would describe this game as the perfect game to play if you're on the toilet. If it's on the Nintendo Switch or something handheld because Although the visual design is amazing and the camera work in this game is great, I love the fixed camera and I love the aesthetic nature of this game. It's trying to emulate, like I said, these old samurai movies and it does a good job of that. However, the graphics, and I'm not a graphics person, I don't care about graphics, but the graphics aren't amazing, okay? They aren't that good. So this should be a game, you know, that should be made for handhold devices and that's perfect to play, you know, if you're on the toilet or whatever, or you're just, you know, super tired at night and you don't want to play something that challenging, you don't want to play something that demands your focus. This kind of 2D linear design type game, you know, works well for that type of gameplay in my opinion and I know that sounds kind of bad. It's got great visual design, it's trying to do something different, which I like because we don't get many of these, you know, 2D, you know, kind of action adventure type games and it reminds me of, you know, games like Inside or Limbo or Little Nightmares, but to me, they are far more unique and interesting story-wise, visually, gameplay-wise. The gameplay in this just gets very old very quickly, and the animations are kind of janky. And since what you're doing most of the time in this game is the combat, is the sword gameplay, and the characters, like I said, aren't that interesting, <laughs> but the combat isn't good, okay? It's boring, it's repetitive. This could have been a different game, this could have been a great game that tries something new, but sadly they just, you know, kind of got lazy, I guess, with the combat system. Instead of making it difficult, and you can make the difficulty higher, it's kind of like a bullshit difficulty, it's not a real difficulty, it's not a real challenge like, you know, Dark Souls or something like that. It doesn't have enough depth for it to be a difficult game like Sifu, like Dark Souls, like Elden Ring, you know. Visually, it's great to look at. I like the fact that it's trying to emulate these older samurai movies and, you know, it does a nice job of capturing the atmosphere of this time period in Japanese history. Sadly, it's not different enough and the story isn't gripping enough and the gameplay isn't complex enough to actually make this, you know, worth buying in my opinion. So yeah, Trek to Yomi is bad, but it does have some good qualities to it. You might still enjoy this if you just want to switch off your brain and play something which doesn't require too much effort from you then you might enjoy this. <laughs> I do like the fact they pay attention to the history. It's another example of the modern day gaming industry being uninspired, I would say, because this game has some great elements to it, but it's just not enough to make it interesting to play. And it's a good thing it's short because, um, you know, once you've played the first two missions, you've pretty much played the whole game. It's sadly not a good video game in many aspects. So. That's my Trek to Yomi review. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.